Hey there, fellows. We've got another experiment for you. This is going to be a rather curious one. I don't really get why it's so captivating, but here's what we'll be doing. Right here we've got a car, namely a Zaporozhets. And for the purpose of this experiment, we bought some Zippo lighter fluid in this precise quantity you see here. It's what they use in those trendy American lighters. And right here we've got a nifty little Ukrainian lighter, so to speak. So the reason I want to subject it to this experiment is that you probably wouldn't want to do such a thing with a carburetted automobile. This car is actually rocking a fuel-injected motor. And so, yeah, it's going to be our guinea pig today. As I'm sure you've guessed by now, we'll start by firing the car up on normal gas, looking to see how it runs and how much it consumes. Afterwards, as to satisfy popular demand, well, granted this thing even starts on Zippo lighter fluid, anyway, we're going to repeat the process, check on fuel consumption, I also want to try driving around in this thing, just to see how effective this stuff is as an actual fuel for cars as opposed to lighters. I mean, it might not even work at all. Alright, time to do some testing. Let's do this. Right, fellas, so far we're looking good. Right here I've got a fuel pump assembly, a container for us to fill with fuel. I've also found a measuring cup. We'll pour in exactly half a liter. We'll begin by filling it with regular 95-octane gas, starting it. We'll flip on a stopwatch to see how many minutes or hours, maybe even days it's able to run on half a liter of gasoline of the normal variety. After that, we put the lighter fluid to use, see whether the car catches fire or not, measure how long the car is able to run, and see whether it starts in the first place on this lighter fluid. Now, I'd like to point out straight away that we've already started and warmed up the engine. So yeah, we're doing everything properly. Alright, let's pour it in. So I'm gonna be placing the measuring cup right here. Okay. Right. Hopefully I'm on the money. Yep, exactly half a liter. Right, we've poured in half a liter. Meaning it's time for us to fill our container. There we go. Now I drop this thing in here. Now I should mention that we've hardwired the fuel pump since we've looped the factory system. There we go. Hang on. Okay, go for it. I've got my stopwatch on. Now there's the matter of waiting until... The car stalls. Now we just wait. Fifteen minutes later. All right, fellas. So here's what we're looking at. It ran for 15 minutes. I was expecting it to last for an hour and a half. But well, here we are. Anyway, here's the thing. You see, the fuel pickup doesn't want to suck up all the gas from that container. There's still going to be a bit left. I don't know exactly how much this is. Let's have a look. Oh wow, that's quite a lot. Well, it's not going to stop us from doing our measurements. We're left with 300 milliliters, meaning that after 15 minutes, the car has eaten up a mere 200 milliliters. In the meantime, it'd be a good idea to start the car to relieve any pressure inside the system. And now we use... That's Zippo lighter fluid we bought. It's splashing around, but no matter. Make sure not to spill anything. There we are. So again, we're looking at precisely half a liter. Now we just take this stuff, pour it in there, and at least try to fire up the car. You know what? It does smell just like the gasoline we had in here earlier. Then again, I mean, lighter fluid doesn't really smell of anything, so... Okay, let's go ahead and pour it in. I've got the fuel pump assembly. Try it out. Oh, wow, it works. 
Isn't that nice? But it looks like the throttle cable came loose. How did that happen? Oh right, I forgot to start the timer. We'll just add 10 seconds to the result. Right, it's working. Now we wait and see how long it's able to run on lighter fluid. Now we just wait a bit. Right, fellas, something amazing just happened. But then again, it might not be all that amazing. That said, as you can plainly see, the lighter fluid ran out in about 17 full minutes and uh, 56 seconds. Given that I was a bit late to flip the timer on. Let's go ahead and call it 18 minutes. The engine ran strong for that amount of time. It was actually a lot smoother this time. We just need to double check how much is left. Right, how much do we still have in there? For us to have a better understanding. Amazingly enough, we have 300 milliliters left. So that fuel pump leaves exactly 300 in there. We had an identical amount in both cases. Nice. Well, there you have it. On 200 milliliters of ordinary 95 octane fuel, the car was able to run for 15 minutes. 15 minutes and change. Meanwhile, on lighter fluid, it ran for a good 18 minutes. What does that tell us? I guess that the lighter fluid is cleaner or has higher octane. Honestly, though, the engine was running much more smoothly. It wasn't shaking or anything. We didn't see any rev hunting. Then again, it was okay on gasoline up until a point as well, but then it started to vibrate. I was expecting for it to stall any second, but it hung in there. The logical conclusion would be that lighter fluid is a better fuel than the gasoline we source from filling stations. But then again, the lighter fluid is much more expensive, at a bit over $10 a pop. So what have we established here? The car runs for longer on that cleaner fluid. Now I'd like to pour that stuff back in there, get out onto the road and try... go full throttle and see whether we get any knocking noises, whether the sensors are able to work adequately. Let's go for a ride. All right. Let's see where this goes. And already you can feel it pulls. Well? Oh, wow, does it haul! Though there is a slight problem. You see, when I give the gas a good stab, now I can hear a knocking noise coming from the engine. As if... It's as if the ECU can't keep the ignition timing in check. Is it just that high octane? It picks up nicely. You just lightly touch the throttle, and it feels like you're running 107 octane. Wow, we are just mobbing! It spins the... You don't even have to do a clutch kick to get the wheels to spin. I smash the gas pedal, and on this concrete surface, well, it's actually a mix of concrete and asphalt. There is a bit of dust, of course. Anyway, you can hear it start to spin the wheels. Oh, wow, what a little monster. It goes like nobody's business. That's what you get when you use clean fuel. That said, it's nice, but it is quite pricey. That lighter fluid... It costs... way more than gas. Can you guys hear that noise? Coming from the car? Oh man, it goes like a bat out of hell. And it appears that the ECU is learning after all. The knocking noises are slowly going away. I was wrong. Thinking that the ECU wouldn't be able to adapt. 
but here it is gradually adjusting itself. Anyway, fellas, we're looking at a 107% success rate here. That Zippo lighter fluid, which we experimented with as requested by our viewers, this stuff actually works, and pretty well, actually. The car was able to run for longer at idle, engine operation was somewhat smoother, and it hauls, man. What's not to love here? But using this stuff regularly would be pretty damn expensive, but such is life. Anyway, fellas, that's all I have for you. Watch us. Don't forget to send in your comments and suggestions. Give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later. Yo, Ivan. Wanna have a go?